The international article number is a 13-digit barcode symbology, which is a superset of the original 12-digit universal product code, developed in 1970 by George J. Laura. The EAN 13 barcode is used worldwide for marking products often sold at retail point of sale. It encapsulates two-digit a three-digit number system, in contrast with UPCA's one-digit number system. EAN 13 barcode with number system 45 or 49 is known as Japanese article number. All the numbers encoded in UPC in EAN are part of GTINs, and they can be encoded in other barcodes defined by the GS1 organization. The less commonly used 8-digit EAN8 barcode was introduced for use on small packages, where EAN13 would be too large. 2-digit EAN2 and 5-digit EAN5 are supplemental barcodes, placed on the right-hand side of EAN13 UPC. These are generally used for periodicals to indicate the current year's issue number, like magazines, or books, and weighed products like food. Composition. The 13-digit EAN13 number consists of four components, GS1 prefix. The first three digits, usually identifying the national GS1 member organization to which the manufacturer is registered. The GS1 prefix is 978 or 979 when the EAN13 symbol encodes a conversion of an international standard book number. Likewise the prefix is 979 for international standard music number and 977 for international standard serial number. Manufacturer Code The manufacturer code is a unique code assigned to each manufacturer by the numbering authority indicated by the GS1 prefix. All products produced by a given company will use the same manufacturer code. EAN13 uses what is called variable length manufacturer codes, assigning fixed length five digit manufacturer codes as the UCC has done until recently, means that each manufacturer can have up to 99,999 product codes and many manufacturers don't have that many products, which means hundreds or even thousands of potential product codes are being wasted on manufacturers that only have a few products. Thus if a potential manufacturer knows that it is only going to produce a few products, EAN13 may issue it a longer manufacturer code, leaving less space for the product code. This results in more efficient use of the available manufacturer and product codes. In ISBN and ISSN, this component is used to identify the language in which the publication was issued and managed by a transnational agency covering several countries, or to identify the country where the legal deposits are made by a publisher registered with a national agency, and it is further subdivided any allocating sub-blocks for publishers. Many countries have several prefixes allocated in the ISSN and ISBN. Registries. Product code. The product code is assigned by the manufacturer. The product code immediately follows manufacturer code. The total length of manufacturer code plus product code should be 9 or 10 digits depending on the length of country code. In ISBN and ISSN, it uniquely identifies the publication from the same publisher. It should be used and allocated by the registered publisher in order to avoid creating gaps. However it happens that a registered book a serial never gets published and sold. Check digit. The check digit is an additional digit used to verify that a barcode has been scanned correctly. It is computed modulo 10, where the weights in the check sum calculation alternate 3 and 1. In particular, since the weights are relatively primed to 10, the EAN13 system will detect all single-digit errors. It also recognizes 90% of transposition errors. 
GS1 prefixes. The first three digits of the EAN-13 usually identify the GS1 member organization which the manufacturer has joined. Note that EAN-13 codes beginning with 0 are actually 12-digit UPC codes with propended 0 digit. In the last few years, more products sold by retailers outside United States and Canada have been using EAN-13 codes beginning with 0, since they were generated by GS1 US. The 020029 GS1 prefixes are worth of special mention. GS1 defines this as being available for retailer internal use. Some retailers use this for proprietary products, although many retailers obtain their own manufacturer's code for their own brands. Other retailers use at least part of this prefix for products which are packaged in store. For example, items weighed and served over a counter for a customer. In these cases, the barcode may encode a price, quantity, a weight along with a product identifier in a retailer defined way. The product identifier may be one assigned by the produce electronic identification board and may be retailer assigned. Retailers who have historically used UPC barcodes will tend to use GS1 prefixes 02 for store packaged products. Calculation of checksum digit. The checksum is calculated as sum of products, taking an alternating weight value times the value of each data digit. The checksum digit is the digit, which must be added to this checksum to get a number divisible by 10. CISBN 13 Check Digit Calculation for a more extensive description and algorithm. The global location number also uses the same method. Position, weight. The weight at a specific position in the EAN code is alternating in a way that the final data digit has a weight of 3. All global trade item number and serial shipping container code codes meet the next rule. Numbering the positions from the right, the odd data digits are always weight of 3 and the even data digits are always weight of 1. Regardless of the length of the code. Weights for 18-digit SSCC code and GTIMs. Weights for EAN-13 code. Weights for EAN-8 code. Calculation examples for EAN-13 barcode for trillion six billion three hundred and eighty one million three hundred and thirty three thousand nine hundred and thirty one. The check digit calculation is dot dot dot. The nearest multiple of 10 that is equal or higher than the checksum is 90. Subtract them. 90 to 89 equals 1, which is the check digit of the barcode. For EAN 8 barcode 7351353X, where X is the unknown check digit, the check digit calculation is dot dot dot. The nearest multiple of 10 that is equal or higher than the checksum is 70. Subtract them. 70 to 63 equals 7, which is the check digit X of the barcode. Binary encoding of data digits into EAN 13 barcode. To encode the 13 digit EAN 13 number, the digits are split into three groups. The first digit, the first group of 6 and the last group of 6. The first group of six is encoded using a pattern whereby each digit has two possible encodings, one of which has even parity and one of which has odd parity. The first digit is encoded indirectly by selecting a pattern of choices between these two encodings for the first group of six digits, according to the table below. All digits in the last group of six digits are encoded using a single pattern R, 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 the one also used for UPC. If the first digit is zero, all digits in the first group of six are encoded using the pattern LLLLLL used for UPC. Therefore, and UPC barcode is also an EAN 13 barcode with the first digit set to zero. Note entries in the R column are bitwise complement of the respective entries in the L column, entries in the G column are the entries in the R column in reverse bit order. See pictures of all codes against a colored background. Bookland. 
The EAN country code 978 has been allocated since the 1980s to reserve a unique country code prefix for EAN identifiers of published books, regardless of country of origin, so that the EAN space can catalog books by ISBNs rather than maintaining a redundant parallel numbering system. Similar arrangements are in place for ISSNs for periodicals and ISMNs for sheet music. Japanese article number. Japanese article number is a barcode standard compatible with the EAN. Use of the YAN standard began in 1978. Originally, JAN was issued a flag code of 49. In 1992, JAN was newly issued an additional flag code of 45. In January 2001 the manufacturer code changed to 7 digits for new companies. How the 13-digit EAN 13 is encoded. The GTIN numbers, encoded to UPC, EAN 8 and EAN 13, all use similar encoding. The encoded information is repeated in plain text below the barcode. EAN 13 encoding the 13-digit EAN 13 number can be divided into three groups. First digit, left group of six digits, right group of six digits. The barcode consists of 95 equally spaced areas. From left to right, three areas to encode the start marker. 42 areas making up the left group of six digits. This can be further subdivided into six subgroups, each consisting of seven areas. The subgroups encode digits 2 to 7. Each of these encodings can have even or odd parity. The parities taken together indirectly encode the first digit of VAN 13, five areas to encode the marker for the center of the barcode, 42 areas making up the right group of six digits. This can be further subdivided into six subgroups, each consisting of seven areas. The subgroups encode digits 8 to 13. Digits 8 to 13 are all encoded with even parity. Digit 13 is the check digit. Three areas to encode the end marker. Dot. Each area can be black bar or white space. A maximum of four black bar areas can be grouped together. These make up a wide black bar. Likewise a maximum of four white space areas can be grouped together. These make up a wide white space. The start marker and the end marker are encoded as 101. The center marker is encoded as 01010. Each digit in EAN 13 consists of seven areas. A decimal digit is encoded so that it consists of two bars and two spaces. The digits in the left group are encoded so that they always start with a white space and end with a black bar. The digits in the right group are encoded so that they always start with a black bar and end with a white space. Finally, the combination of variable width black bars and white spaces encodes the EAN 13 number. The encoding is described in the following table. For each digit there are three similar encodings, left even and right a mirror symmetrical to each other. Left odd is the bitwise inversive right. The first digit from the left group is always encoded with odd parity, and the last digit of the right group is always encoded with even parity. Thus, it does not matter whether the barcode is scanned from the left or from the right. The scanning software can determine what is the beginning and end of the barcode. With the help of the fact that the first digit should have odd parity and the last digit should have even parity. EAN 13 barcode example C1, C3, start, end marker. C2, marker for the center of the barcode. Six digits in the left group, 003994. Six digits in the right group, 155486. A digit is encoded in seven areas, by two black bars and two white spaces. Each black bar or white space can have a width between one and four areas. 
parity for the digits from left and right group OEOEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEEE